Hello, hello. My name is Callista and welcome back to The Complex. In the last episode, we finally got to see the bigger picture, why all of this went down the way it did. Natalie Kensington is in league with the supreme dictator of Kinda. He has been using innocent men and women who were opposing his rule as human guinea pigs for Natalie's experiments into the nanocells. She has gone behind our back and made duplicates of the master batch. And Amy was pretty upset about this. Her research was never meant to hurt people. It was supposed to help people and to find out that it was actually killing innocent men and women. She was very distressed by this. And Claire actually dosed herself so that she could take the nano cells to MI6 along with some evidence she had on a USB stick. Unfortunately, the nano cells began damaging her before she was able to make it to them. It is a very unfortunate situation. And right now we are trying to get out of the lab. We can't go across the void. We can't go up, but maybe we can go down to a half-built subway station. Using chemistry. Okay, what have you got there? We're at the lowest point of the complex, so Tabitha Green's must be right below us. Yeah, okay, Amy, but there's a toilet in the way. Not for long. Potassium. Amy. My favorite ever chemistry lesson was when the teacher put a small piece of potassium in water. I'm afraid I'm not much of a scientist, so uh what block would do. I'm guessing it'll cause an explosion, but uh, run. Run. Woo! Nice. Oh, you are positively insane. In the best way possible, though. <laughs> so now the big question, how far below us is Tabitha Green's? Looks deep. Oh. I'll go check it out. Hmm. A drop, Amy? Uh, no. Um, something small. Oh, dear. That's, that's way too far down. Oh God. I think that was the last door, yep. Yeah. They're trying to shoot their way in. They could run out of bullets. Their, way in. their bullets won't dent these doors. They were built to withstand much more than that. The void's last resort defense mechanism is the kicker. When it detects a rogue pathogen, it generates a white heat flash to eliminate the threat. Okay. <coughs> oh, Reese. She's already hardwired into the system. We are fucking fucked. Answer, Answer call. call. Guys, the intruders are almost in and we know why they're here. Parker, what options have we got? Enough. While Parker was accessing the lab security mainframe for bypasses, we saw records of who gained entry in the last 24 hours. Claire entered using someone else's ID credentials. You okay. see me. That's impossible. Oh. I've got my ID card right here. Amy didn't help me. I snuck into her office and I copied her credentials off a computer. You're the liar, Natalie. You don't have a voice here, Claire. Look, we know about Kinder. Reese. We have proof. Lots. Sense. Look, the intruders are Natalie and Kindar's way of making sure that we die with their dirty little secret. We know that you hack your own security, Natalie. That's ridiculous. Yeah, your cyber security sucks. Even resacked it easily. Guys, guys, can we please Reese stop showing our hands? He isn't an employee here, is he? What's your story, buddy? He spent the last few years bouncing between pharma companies around the world. A mercenary. Who side are you on, Wakefield? No, no, can we all just... You know what, fuck this. Everyone? Calm down. We got a bigger problem here. All I know is that if they get in, the nanocells are gone forever. Natalie, please. Look, we aren't traitors. 
Help us. Stall them. Do something. Amelia, regardless of what we think of each other right now, you're one of my closest friends. Parker. So we're trusting these guys now? Yes, we are. Can the void jam electronics? Negative. Could you reinitialize the vacuum? Two of them aren't wearing helmets. I can't. They've locked us out. Reese could. His computer down there is hardwired into the system. All right. It seems okay, like we've got a temporary okay. truce. We can't trust her. In the long term, we can't trust her. Oh, Claire. Help me, me. The door will hold. She's fucked. What's going on, Claire? Something wrong. My heart. Oh, she's crying blood again. <laughs> Aren't you good to wear a mask? No. I trust you. Be careful, one, one of your fingers is cut. I haven't forgotten that. got this, Reese. Oh, please hold it together. Did Parker tell you how to turn the vacuum back on? He did. Because only one of them has a mask, so... And, and yeah, this is what your hubris so gets smug you. smug now, are you? You wanted to dick about and look cool and see what happens. We're not out of the woods yet. All right, they're still unlocking the door. One down, two to go. Yeah, he's he's fucked. She's the hacker. If she's just left, she's probably not all that brawny. Oh God. She's not all that brawny, but if she takes one of their guns, we could still be in trouble. Come on. No oh, shit! Dude! Oh, he's nicking her mask! What a hoe! He's got common sense, but he's a hoe! And the door's open. <sighs> Call Natalie Kensington. You're okay. Answer call. Oh, thank God. We saw the lab door didn't open. Good work, Wakefield. Appreciate the guidance, Parker. Thanks for the lead, Natalie. There's still an armed intruder out there. Parker, what else do you have for us? I could go for Natty's internet, unplug the lab, plug it back in. That would kill lockdown mode and the vacuum for 60 seconds. You guys can then escape before everything initializes. Emily has a security team poised to handle the last intruder. No, that's a shit plan. He's standing right outside the door. He's literally right the out there. The security team of sprinters wouldn't make it down before he wastes us. He's right, Parker. It's a calculated risk worth taking. Okay, well, when could you do this? Whenever you're... Can you get Claire's blood? What the fuck, Natalie. Yes, I know it will kill her, but she's gonna die anyway. She'd be sacrificing herself to save millions. I don't Thank trust Amy. you. We can't start over again. This has been our lives for the past four years. We're not the only country trying for nanocells. I'm not a murderer. You're a monster, Kensington. 
Just take the blood, Amy. Time is running out. Deal or no deal? No. I don't trust you. End call. Trapped in a corner here, Emmy. There has to yeah. be another way that doesn't involve killing Claire. There isn't. We're trapped. Yeah, by Natalie. The lab's in lockdown mode because she ordered it. No. no other chemical threat outside of Claire's bioprotector. Yeah, there, yeah is. there is. Actually. Yep. Oh, Reese. I liked you. How? Should have brushed up on my needle handling. Look, this is a Mexican standoff we're going to lose. It won't be long until I'm like Claire, and eventually the oxygen will run out. So Parker's crazy plan of opening that door is our only hope. You've changed your tune. Maybe Natalie will rescue us. Yeah, you want to bet? No. All the evidence of her actions in Kindar is I'm with Reese on here. this. The nanocells are our only leverage. Take her blood, however much you need. Claire, please give me your arm. Oh, darling. I thought you were different. Claire, your arm. Tell me honestly, can you save me? She'd rather be honest. There's almost no chance of it. Your internal physiology is completely changed and I can't- Oh, so your eye happen. cleared up very quickly. Look, I don't even know if I'm gonna survive this, but if I do, I promise you that- She's given up. I think even Claire's realized there's no way out and be careful with that needle. Ooh. Stop. I've got enough. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't stick it in. <laughs> That's what she said. I Reese. knew it. <laughs> Just close the bioprotector. When he started laughing, Everyone I knew he was going to make that day. joke. It's about time I contributed an escape plan. What? While Parker was talking me through the vacuum reset, I realised that a full lab reset wouldn't be much different. We don't need those pricks upstairs. But if you reset the lab, they'll be alerted. That's where things get creative. I hacked into the lab security camera and recorded the last three minutes of you preparing to extract Claire's blood. Oh, Reese, you... You genius! I put that three minutes of footage onto their security feed. While you escape, they'll think you're following orders. How did you come up with this? Sorry to move in. <laughs> Reese, you are what the MVP, what about you really our are. An obstacle outside? And why are you speaking in the second person? I'm gonna take him out. Reese, no! I'm infected. As soon as I step into the void, that heat flash will trigger. Reese, you've lost it. If I die in here, lockdown mode ends and he gets in. If I die out there, so does he, and you. you have a chance. I've been the weak link. It's time to become an asset. No. Just take Claire. No. Run. And save her. This is madness. There has to be a way for all of us to survive. Ever the optimist. That that's what you always loved about her. <laughs> oh, oh! That was adorable. Please. Mm. Come on, no, 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 look, I chose this, okay? And that's how you make a life. Every single choice along the way counts. I fucking hate you. I kind of want them to kiss. Do it! No, no, do it! 
you know, I went back to that beach in Kindar to face it. That woman was there. Dima. Hey! She's playing with a little girl. Nice! She called her Amy. Oh! I'm sorry for leaving you. Actually, don't kiss, because saliva. I don't know how that works. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Get back. Oh! Yeah, didn't your mother ever tell you not to kiss anyone carrying a life-threatening pathogen? <laughs> they can't even have a cute kiss! Oh! I appreciate the sentiment, though. More than you know. I didn't expect to ship these two as much as I do. Oh! Wait! What is it, Claire? Is this Switch another- This is with me, Reese. At this stage, you have a far better chance of surviving than I do. Claire! Come on. You have all the evidence against Kensington. Make sure the world sees it. No, Claire, I'll do it. Drop it. The bioprotector will stop the lab detecting your infection, and you two can escape. Okay, one, I like, I like Reese and Amy. Go two, on. Claire's right. Reese has a better chance of survival. He's not been as infected as I long. Promise, we'll expose Natalie, and we'll share your story with the world. Thank you. No worries, Claire. Get the fuck out of this thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, the nano cells have really fucked her up. Okay, come on, Reese. Did you do that, Parker? Come on. No. Let it work. I'm sitting here. Hey, Claire. Thank you. Let's do this. Get in there, Claire. You've got this. Oh, you, you think you're so fucking smug standing out of the void. Well, here comes Claire to fuck up your day. Chemical threat detected. <laughs> Get in there, Claire. And close the door. Oh, give Claire well, a round of applause. She really did. All looks good to me. Yeah. She's going to get the nano cells. Well done, Amy. Fuck you, be. Natalie. Oh. What was that? Nothing. Three minutes. Let's go, go, go. That's right, get the gun. Well, Amy, fuck that. Get a machine gun. <laughs> oh, Reese, I love you. Just like, no, 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 not the tiny one, the big gun. All right, careful. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Ah! Oof. Oh. We have to change out of our lab suits. They'll draw too much attention. How bad is it? Oh, God, I'm squeamish. Can you see the bone? 
You fucked me. I'm gonna go to the disabled toilet and grab the fold-up wheelchair, okay? Change quick. Yes, ma'am. Oh God, please let him survive so they can go on a cute date. Also, you look really suspicious. You almost look like a right side. <laughs> yeah. Very noticeable. <coughs> oh, please keep it together, because if you cough at the wrong time, Well, shit. Their guns are way bigger than ours. I really wasn't bluffing about the security team. Okay, there's an exit out of the back of the building. It'll be way less guarded. Right, so what are we waiting for? Just now go. This is down there. Fuck let's that. Just get the fuck out of here. Yes. Yeah. Finish what Claire started. Right to MI6. Stop right there, Amy Tennant. Oh. Shit. Oh. I guess three minutes wasn't long enough. We know Wakefield has nanocells in his system. Hand them over and this can end without bloodshed. Well, that's clearly bullshit. Just yeah. do it, Amy. Come on, please. She seemed like a weak link. Natalie's covering up the murder of innocent men, women, and children. Emily, you know this is wrong. Come on, have a heart. I knew about everything. God now damn! Now duplicates, the testing in Kinder. I oversaw it all while you're busy fiddling with your test tubes. Now hand him over. You're trapped. Amy, use me. You always said I could sell ice to the Eskimos. Dude, you can't say that. <laughs> oh, he's... We need to get out and he's giving us the option. Hey, hey, look, look, look. look I'm, oh, I'm a pretty God. selfish person. But the woman behind me with the Uzi isn't, so just... Don't punish her for that. Where are you going with this, race? <laughs> you can have me, Kensington. Just let me go. No, no, no deal. I can't just let Amy walk out of here. Like, we're dead either way. Oh! Just do it, Amy. It's okay, just do it. Do it. Do it. Reese, you, you absolute hero. <laughs> Look at that smile. Get him back to security lab alpha now. <laughs> Suck a dick. I need tenant. You can't have her. Natalie Kensington, founder of the Kensington Corporation, was today arrested by MI6 on suspicion of crimes against humanity. This follows the discovery of footage linking her to illegal chemical testing on humans in Kandar, which resulted in the deaths of hundreds. The Kandarian embassy have denied any involvement.
And there we go! That was the complex! Short and sweet, it was, it was great! I really enjoyed this! Okay, so ending found, trust me for once. Personality status, Amy, 62% honesty, 77% bravery, 69% curiosity, 100% intelligence, 61% sensitivity. One out of nine endings found, 82 out of 196 scenes discovered, 82 decisions made. Personality assessment, altruistic. I like that. There were a couple of things that the ending kind of left open. Clearly MI6 got involved, so Amy did manage to get the evidence to them. But what happened to Reese? That's really what I want to know. What happened to Reese? I guess in, in an ideal world, MI6 raided the complex. Uh, Reese was taken to safety and he was successfully cured of the nano cells and uh, he and Amy got to go on a cute little date. That's that's what I'm gonna say happened at the end there. I've really liked this game. It was short and sweet and exactly what I needed after playing a really long game like The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. I, I really enjoyed myself with the complex. But what are we playing next? Well, um, if I'm being honest, I'm actually a tad nervous about the game we have coming up. It's called Erica. It's very similar to the complex. It is a shorter FMV that was once again requested by Nero Cassidyne. Thank you for the request. And here's, here's what makes me nervous. The game was originally released for the PS4, and a lot of its mechanics rely on there being a touchpad. And a lot of the reviews I've read have said that the PC version is kind of glitchy because of that. It doesn't necessarily work the best. So, um, yeah, I'm a bit nervous to see how that's going to play out. If Erica is unplayable, then instead we will be jumping into a visual novel called When the Night Comes. I am very excited for that. It has been ages since I last had a visual novel on my channel. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it will be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.